with Guitar Guitar. Hey everyone, it's Martin Miller here. I'm at Guitar Guitar. Really excited to be here. Going to talk a little bit about my artistry, some of the approaches that I use. Very excited to talk shop to all of you. So today I want to talk a little bit about the stuff that makes me, me, I guess. It all goes back kind of to the way I was brought up musically. Um, I'm a rock guitar player, rock guitar lover. I did go through jazz college and the kind of accumulation of these two these two po kind of polar opposites in some way are what created my own personal approach to music. So I like the aesthetic of rock music, I like the sound of rock music, but I do incorporate some of the educational and intellectual approaches uh, from the world of jazz into what I do. Specifically in the way I approach improvisation and line creation, chord voicing creation, all these types of things. Let's say in a traditional context, you would have a chord progression and a guitar player would usually represent the rhythm, right? There would be a 4-4 pulse, for instance, and guitar players usually agree that that is something you should play along to, right? Then most guitar players also agree on that you should be playing in the correct key. Um, so if your song is in D major, you play in D major, right? But I like to personally go a little step further, and that's where kind of the jazz education kicks in. I like to represent all the chords that I'm playing over. And what I mean by that is that I make my note choices based on each individual chord that goes by. So think of this almost as if every chord in a chord progression, say you have three or four chords, is almost treated as if they were in a separate key. So I've laid down a little chord progression here in my looper, and it is the most common chord progression in the world. I think there's even a meme about it, like a meme video with a million views, like a million, a billion views on it. And it's D major, A major, B minor, G major. So that's the one chord, the five chord, six chord, and the four chord. Now traditionally, a lot of guitar players would choose the key of D major or even B minor to play over this and they would stay within the same key and you can get some great results from that. I'm not here to talk down in that kind of approach but that would be the traditional approach. Now I'm gonna play a little bit using the key of B minor and D major and then I'm gonna drop out the chords and I want you to pay attention to what happens when I do that. So here we go. It sounds nice, it's not offensive to the ear, but it's not how I like to play. I feel like it tends to generate lines that are not memorable and not melodic enough. And one way to kind of prove this if, is if you go to the many famous songs that were written over this kind of corporation, you analyze them, you'll find that the melodies are usually not based so much around the pentatonic but around the chord tones. And I try to do the same thing in the way I solo. So I'm gonna take a different approach when I solo and I'm gonna be using the chord tones much more. I'm gonna use passing tones as well, of course, but I'm trying to characterize each individual chord that goes by by being very deliberate with my note choices. So here goes. So I tried to keep the melody going there over the chord progression. I hope that you could hear the chords going by while I was playing. So here is D major, here's A major, here's B minor, here's G major, A major, B minor, and back to D major, etc. 
So this is how I kind of make my note choices. One way to approach this very practically is to just pick out a single note relatively to each chord and play it over every chord. So I'm going to start with the root note. I'm going to play the root note over each individual chord. So over D that would be D, over A that would be A, etc. Here we go. <laughs> Very simple, let's move up a little bit. Let's do thirds next. Fifths. only using chord tones. So in the next step, I'm going to allow myself to play sevenths and nines as well. It's going to sound a lot more flavorful. Here it goes. going a little off script there, but you get the general idea. This is how I approach improvising over rock chord progressions. Got a book on this kind of stuff. It's called Modern Rock Guitar Soloing. I go into that. It's on Amazon. Uh, go into much more depth with that stuff in that book. Yeah, um, I urge you to check out what chord tones can do for your playing. That's a really good thing to, to delve into.